on three teens hanging out at a gas station find themselves staring down the barrel of a gun and one is shot. Shots fired in another neighborhood led to an arrest. Angela Ingram shows us the surveillance video you'll see only on Local 12 News and also how police put the bad guy in jail. Antonio Pritchett just accepted a plea deal, but this case is much bigger than just one robbery. The Cincinnati Police Department has technology used on both sides of the river to help catch criminals regionally. And in this case, the public also helped as well. And here you can see Mr. Pritchett and a no known accomplice. Three teens hanging out at a gas station were doing nothing wrong playing on their phones like many, many juveniles do. And uh, these two individuals come up and accost them with no provocation. They were at the food mart on West Galbraith and College Hill on September 25th. The victim's faces are blurred to protect their identities, but you can see two men come up on them. One starts to rob the boys. Here he starts to grab his cell phone, go into his pockets. Mr. Pritchett, who's behind him in the black, is armed with a 22 caliber handgun. Antonio Pritchett shoots one of the teens who tries to run. Both robbers take off, but they left shell casings and investigators collected them. Approximately about a week and a half later, uh, up in Evanston, we get a call for a report of shots fired. Well, on this occasion, two separate individuals witnessed the shots fired incident, called it into the police, gave a very detailed description of the vehicle, including the exact license plate. That led police to more shell casings. Investigators put them into a system called NIBIN. This is really a regional crime gun intelligence process uh, with numerous other agencies such as Colerain Township, Springfield Township, Green Township, the Sheriff's Office, Ohio State Highway Patrol, Covington, they all enter their trace evidence into our system. The casings from the College Hill robbery were already in the system. Nibin matched that evidence to the Evanston crime, and that led police to Antonio Pritchett, who's now going to prison. We're very thankful for the community that stepped up and called this in, because without that piece, we would not have stopped that car. We would not have made that arrest. And I think that the, the message to those pulling the trigger in the city of Cincinnati we have the technology. You are going to leave evidence behind. Pritchett is getting 10 years in prison, and police are still looking for that other person who was with him at the time of the robbery. At the Hamilton County Justice Center, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. And if you can help police find the other robber, call our partners at Crime Stoppers. That number is 352-3040. Remember, you don't have to give your name to get a cash reward.